Hey, hi everyone. Today I want to look back at this portrait painting I did last year and talk about the biggest mistake I used to make when painting a portrait from photo reference. So this is from last January, so it's over a year old, January 2023. I want to address a quick critique of that painting. That is something I constantly do, looking at my painting when it's done and listing what I like and do not like about it. If that's something you also do and enjoy, consider subscribing so we can create better paintings together. So this is not a painting demo, this was recorded in time-lapse, it was more intended as a documentation of my painting. I know time-lapses are not the best, but I don't do it anymore. Now I record my painting process in real time, so that is about to come to the channel as well, painting process in real time. Make sure to subscribe and activate the bell to get the notification when I post a new video. I have a few of these time lapses from last year, some are worth sharing I believe. It gives me the occasion to talk about these paintings with a step back, it's always interesting to look back and see what I could improve, I hope this can be useful to someone as well. So the biggest mistake I made on this painting was right from the start, not setting up the photo shoot better. I didn't do a good job with the exposure of my camera and I couldn't control the light as it was outdoors. This results in a pretty poor photo reference. Not having a clear idea of what the final painting should look like didn't help neither. I took that photo reference on the spot, it was very spontaneous and it was not planned. So sometimes that can work, but here I don't think it does. So starting with a poor photo reference makes things harder already. From now on, I want to plan my photo reference better. This makes the whole painting process easier and more enjoyable. For example, when you can have a clear shadow on the face, painting a portrait gets easier. I will develop that on the channel. I will make videos specifically about painting portraits. This is one of my favorite subjects, portrait painting. Since now I paint mostly from life, I need to find life models. This requires more organization than painting from photo reference. I will keep painting from photo reference as well because I think it's very useful. Some subjects like kids or animals are just impossible to paint from life. But right now I'm mostly focused on painting from life. I will also uh, make a video about that. So at that time when I took that photo reference, I just loved that overcast sky and that moody day. Then I just couldn't get that mood in my painting. I didn't like the background on the reference and I had no clear idea on how to replace it when I started to paint. So looking back, I can see I was struggling to know what to do. This lack of intention weakens the painting. Then for the moody atmosphere, my values and saturation are off for the background. And for the face, it's way too saturated as well to give a moody or foggy vibe. Again, without clear intention from the start, it's hard to create a great painting. So that's something I'm very focused on right now, having a clear intention from the start. Back then, I didn't have yet a method how to mix colors, so this was a real challenge. I will make videos about mixing colors because this changed a lot for me. Having a clear method on how to mix any colors really helps the way I approach paintings. It simplifies the process. Consider subscribing if that's something you're interested in, mixing any colors with a limited palette. The color mixing method is useful at any point in time, but it shines when one needs to paint fast, like en plein air or with a life model, when mixing colors need to be fast and efficient. On the positive side, I was very happy about my value control. I stayed focused during the entire painting for the figure, making sure I stayed on point with all the values. That required a palette organization that was completely new to me, but it paid off, uh, I believe, in the end. I am pretty happy about how uh, I painted the figure. The coat and the boots are well rendered. The pants could have been better. I could have simplified and found better shape for the pants. So this is something I do, I never stay stuck to my reference, from life or from picture. I always look for the best movement and the best shape. That is why I don't use a projector or a grid. I like to have full control over the shapes and forms I paint. I have the feeling that sometimes it feels stiffer or flatter when I project a picture or make a grid for it. Full control allows me to refine to my liking each of these shapes and forms easily selecting the ones I want in my painting. There is nothing wrong with projecting or greeting a subject. 
I did it for many years and can make videos on that uh, if that's something you like. I just prefer the direct drawing approach since only that way I can control everything, every single shape. It requires more knowledge and more work at the beginning, but uh, I believe this approach pays off in the long run. Since I'm not planning to do anything else with my life, uh, I think it's a good choice for me anyway. But of course, everybody must do what fits the most for their own case. In my taste, I will always like a portrait that is not accurate, but drawn freehand rather than the copy of a picture. Paintings are not picture. If I want something highly rendered, to the point of seeing the hair of the nose, well, for that I take a picture with my 4K camera. Uh, to me, paintings are different. The paintings that I love in museum are the paintings that are realistic by suggestions. It means I, I see something highly realistic but not highly rendered. There's a big difference between the two. I don't want to spend too much time on a painting neither, so this is why the indirect approach uh, in oil painting doesn't match my personality neither. I want more of a direct approach, rougher while still being realistic. I think of the work of Rembrandt, Velasquez, Manet, Sargent to name only a few. Maybe this will evolve over time, but that's where I am right now. This is what I want to develop on the channel, approach to direct painting, direct drawing. But there is nothing wrong with other approaches. Greeting, projecting, measuring, all these are methods to get paintings done. All of us have to do what sounds right for us and what we are happy with. Right now, that's where I am. But everyone has his own path and every path has his own pace. No matter where you are on your path to become a better artist, you are welcome here on this channel. There is plenty of content to come from plein air painting to studio painting, from landscape to portrait painting, from drawing to painting, from beginners to masters. Make sure to subscribe, join my art community, let's create better paintings together.